Rachel Ritsky knew she wanted to study communication disorders at WKU and set out to specialize in aphasia after her grandmother suffered a stroke and could no longer communicate. But after her grandmother died, it became too difficult for Rachel to continue those studies. That's when she turned her attention to autism. There are so many things we don't know about the disorder and that's fascinating to me. Rachel Ritsky had no idea what autism was when she decided to change the focus of her major. But some independent research and a job at the Kelly Autism Program at WKU sealed her fate. As I learned that, hey, this isn't just a disability. This isn't just a disorder. This is about these people, these my friends. The honor student was also a spirit master, even named homecoming queen during her undergraduate studies, but was nudged out of her comfort zone when she was encouraged to gain international research experience in a Chinese field study. I went in thinking, oh, I'll gain my international experience and I'll come back to the States and I'll have that experience and go on. Instead, Rachel was more motivated than ever to research autism in China. I want to continue pursuing this research so that I can help them, so that I can help them participate in society, so that I can help them um, acquire jobs. The Fulbright Scholar just returned from Guangzhou, where she spent 10 months assisting one of China's top autism researchers. I realized, oh, whoa, we're the next generation that's going to carry this type of research forward. It was a heady experience, much like the epiphany she had while attending a conference in Taiwan earlier this year and realizing the home she longed for was no longer in the States. The sense of home had changed for me. The home was no longer Franklin, Kentucky, but home was Guangzhou, China. And that was really, it was an interesting feeling. Ritsky's next stop is the University of Texas at Austin, where she will pursue a combined master's doctoral degree in communication sciences and disorders. She says continuing advocacy and research in China is definitely on her future horizon. With this week's View from the Hill, I'm Amy Bingham.